Wondering how a NASA internship can propel your future? Gugu Rutherford started at NASA as an intern and is now a successful NASA engineer. She tells us how it all started. My name is Gugu Rutherford. Currently I am a contamination control and planetary protection engineer with NASA. And the path that got me here was definitely not what I expected. Um, pretty much I love to tell people this NASA internship, it changed my life. Uh, um, when I applied through the NASA internship program, I actually was a graduate student. I was deeply embedded in materials science and engineering and research. Um, I thought my track was going to be definitely to a whole other industry, going maybe semiconductor or pharmaceutical company. Never thought that I had a place in aerospace, let alone with NASA. And so I saw the opportunity open. Um, I wasn't going to apply. And my, uh, my story I like to tell people, which is very true, um, is that uh, I wasn't going to apply. I saw the advertisement, and we have, I call her our cheerleader there um, at our graduate program, but she's actually one of our lead recruitment specialists. And she pulled me to the side. She said, hey, I saw a position open at NASA. You should really think about applying. And I was like, I don't know. She said, goo goo, apply. And so I took her advice. It took me about two days to get through the application. <laughs> but once I got through it, um, a couple of weeks later, about three weeks later, I got an email. And it was from the gentleman who's now my branch head and saying that he wanted to talk to me about a position as a NASA intern. And so uh, I was completely nervous, but when, you know, I prepared for that interview. When I got in the interview, it was interesting. Everything I had done up until that point, whether it was before I was um, in the Navy, so some of my leadership and teamwork that came out of the Navy and training. Um, I had a field in o I had a career in oceanography one time, some of the information I learned from there, all the way up to the material science. All those bits of information came into the interview. And when I finished, I had a feeling that this was a good sign, Gugu. There's no, this, this, I think this was meant to be. They were asking you things that you were very familiar with and comfortable with, and you didn't know that it was very useful here at NASA. And so long story short, um, I got the, the interview, got the offer, and I will tell you that first year as an intern was intense <laughs> because they really do put you to work. There's no, you're getting coffees, no, no, no. You're actually doing real projects, hands-on, learning, um, training, of course. Um, and at the end of it came the current position I'm in right now, full-time, which was amazing. So my advice to those is um, when you don't believe in yourself, do. If you don't put yourself out there for any opportunity, it's not going to come to you. Um, I think there's a saying, closed mouths don't get fed, and it's very true. You have to be the one to advocate for yourself. And if you want a place here at NASA, we're more than welcome to have you. To start your journey, I highly suggest that you go to intern.nasa.gov. We have plenty of opportunities available all year round. We look forward to hearing from you.